Earlier I published one video covering five free tools using which you will be able to generate AI images and that got very good feedback from all of you and that inspired me to continue that search and in this video I came up with five more options using which you'll be able to generate AI images and that too absolutely for free. Let me show you one by one. Now first option is Imagine Art. I will add all those links in the description below so you can just directly use from there. So if I go to this particular website, you will be able to see this kind of an interface. So again, you can use your Google credentials to log in and you will be able to generate your images. What I'll do while we'll be testing all these five tools, I will use one single prompt everywhere so that you'll be able to compare the result, how it's generating. So here you can see there is one option. If I click on it, there are multiple different options. What we'll do, we'll click on create an image and then I'll paste my prompt. So this is the prompt I earlier copied from mid journey so that I'll be able to use this particular prompt in all these tools. In the left side, there are multiple different options. Currently, you can select different models. So I'll use the default one because we are not using a pro plan, but you can use different available models from here. So let me click on cross. Then aspect ratio, I'm looking for a three to four uh, image. Other options are there. You can check and you will be able to understand more. But let me very quickly click on generate and see that what it generates. So now this particular tool generate four different options side by side whenever you are generating your images. And you can see this is the quality it's generated. All these four images using this prompt. And this is absolutely for free. That's one of the very important thing. Now they have one good thing also available here. If I just come back here, refer a friend, you will be able to invite any of your friends using the link and you will be able to earn certain credits. What I'll do, I'll add one link in the description so that some of you, once you log in, I'll get some additional credits. So, but you will be able to generate a substantial number of images for free. So this is number one. Now, before I show you the next option, I have a small announcement. My chat GPT course is now live on Skillshare. I have added one link in the description below. Check out that link. I have already published a couple of courses there. If you click on that link and during your trial period, you will be able to watch my courses. And along with that, multiple different other courses by renowned instructors around the world. And Skillshare also have a very good collection of courses related to image generation, video generation, and in the creative field only. So that may interest you. So check out that link if you're interested. Now let me show you the next option and that is using my favorite application that is Google AI Studio. There are multiple different options. Earlier I published multiple videos using this particular application only. Now whenever you are inside Google AI Studio, if you click on generate media, there you will be able to see one option that is Imagine. And Imagine is one free open source model released by Google. So this is a very good option also. Now let me paste the same prompt and see how the image is getting generated using this particular tool also. Now one good part of Google AI Studio is you don't need any subscription any point of time. There may be certain limitation on the generation, but this works like a charm. I'll paste the same prompt here. Uh, and I'm looking for a three is to four image and one image is fine for me. And this image in four, which is under preview, that's the model it's going to use. So if I click on run, now it will generate the image for us. Once it will generate, then let's see how it looks like, how's the quality and we'll understand. Look, this is the image it generated. And if I now download that image and I maybe save it someplace, and then let's see how the image looks like after it will get downloaded. Now, if I click on this particular icon, large view, you can see this is the image it generated. So this image is also very good, right? And if you click on download, you'll be able to download this image. Now, let me show you the third option. And that is also another very prominent tool and covering that particular tool, I published multiple videos earlier in this channel, that is Manas AI. Now, Manas is not a dedicated LLM application. It's a generalistic AI agent application. So if I come here and I open Manas app, now let me use the same prompt here. What I'll do, I'll click on image so that it will generate an image and then I'll 
paste that prompt and I'll click on send. But for Manas, one thing is it may take a bit more time than any other LLM tools because this is a generalistic AI agent application. It will follow multiple steps to generate your image. So it may take a little bit more time than any other applications. Okay, now the image is ready and look at the quality. It's still thinking and it's still uh, finalizing its thought and other things. So, but this is the image and it's already available and it's showing us here. If I click on it, you can see this is the quality generated. And this is maybe the best one as of now uh, using whatever the tools we used, right? So, and if you click on here, you'll be able to download that particular image and you can see this is the quality of the image. So this is our option number three. Now let me show you the next one. Now if I open a new tab and our next option is Quen. Now Quen I covered earlier, but Quen now released a new model and that is Quen 3 using which we will be also able to generate free images. Now if I come here and click on image generation, some of the options are already there. You will be able to use any of this prompt as an inspiration if you want to use and you will be also able to select the aspect ratio of the image from here. Again, I'll select 3 is to 4 this time also because that's the image we are trying to generate here and let me paste that same prompt again here and let's see how it generates this image here. You can see this one also generated this image where uh, I think there are some improvement required in this hand, only four fingers are there. So we can regenerate and let's see how it generates again. So that option is also there and this is a free tool. There is no limitation, nothing. So you'll be able to try multiple times in case it's not generating a right one from the first time. So you can see this is the image and if I can download this also generated in a right quality. You can see this is the image it generated. Isn't it good? Right. This is our fourth option and let me show you the final option. So I'll open a new tab and this is a rev.art and there let's see that how it also generate. So they try to mimic home page like mid journey. So there are multiple images is showing. You can see then you will be able to take some of the inspiration from these images. But let us use our same prompt here and let's see how it generates. And again, I'll select three to four. It's already selected here. Uh, how many images uh, one or two I'll, I'll select two and then I'll click on create and let's see how it comes back with. Now you can see these are the images it generated. It also generated four images and any of them you can use. So if I maybe click on any of them and then I try to download and from there uh, let's see how it generated. You can see this is the image. So these are the five tools using which you will be able to generate free AI images. Earlier I covered Meta AI also in detail in one of the video and that's one of the tool using which you will be able to generate multiple images and you will be also able to edit your images on the fly. Check out this video if you want to know everything about it.